Welcome back to Investing with Confidence on this special holiday weekend. Santa Claus is back. I am your host, Joshua David, and we have been talking a little bit about some of the retail high flyers of the year, I guess the most held by the public right. of different stocks mm -hmm. and different investments. And, you know, I gave away some tickets for an investing class on the last segment here. I want to make sure people have an opportunity to do that. You can call 952-814-4410 for two tickets for the investing class, or you can just text the word invest to the number 484848. When you do that, you'll get a text back with a link to get set up with the registration page. We do these classes during the week. We also have these on the weekend, and they're about two hours. Al teaches these. I teach these. We have a great time talking about the stock market. So, Al, as we continue this, you know, number one retail uh, investing, you know, top 10 stocks uh, held by the retailers. The next one, as I teased in the last segment, is a China, Chinese electric vehicle maker, and it's called NEO. And net purchases on 2021, roughly roughly around $6.8 billion. But this is the number three held stock by the public, retail traders and right, investors. Right. And year to date, this stock is actually down roughly right around, as, as doing this show here, about 56%. Right. Now think about that for a second. People are buying and holding stocks, and this is a top stock for retailers. It's actually down 56%. Right. But the market, as you said, I believe up, what, 24, 25 percent 26, 26 on the right. year. So let's talk about that for a second. Yeah, well, the good thing for us, it, really what we're talking about here when we're talking about these stocks held by retail traders is there's an emotional component to their trading. And fortunately for us, we can identify that and use that to our advantage. We hate to say that we're taking advantage of people out there, but that's what the institutions do. That's what the big traders do. They know that that people are going to make their decisions based on feelings and emotions yeah. and, and they take advantage of that. And we can read that on a chart. And that's the important thing is be able to understand how to read a price chart of any asset, uh, whether it's an individual stock or the market. So you can kind of determine where those emotional decisions are, are going to be made when they make them, they just drive the price of the stock up or down into an area where we want to be ready to buy or sell. Yeah, when you're talking about the emotions of the public, I mean, this stock is, you know, potentially an emotional stock because it's an elect electric vehicle maker. Sure. Do you think that's why so many people bought and, and held a this stock is because of its uh, electric vehicles? Yeah, and, and I think that probably all started with Tesla. People saw what Tesla did, uh, which is phenomenal, and they yeah. expected these other companies to do the same thing. And to, to be honest with you, Neo actually started out – uh, they had record delivery figures on their cars, so things looked really good. It drove them into a high, which I think was around $62 a share. And then there were some issues with some Chinese companies. There was at least one that ride-sharing company, Didi, that was delisted. So it, the Chinese government can sometimes do things that will cause uh, a movement in a particular asset or assets in general. That's what happened to Neo. You know, it went from that uh, $62 down to, I think it's somewhere around $29 a, a Roughly, share now. Uh, almost about $30 per share right $30 now. $30 a share. So that was a big drop. And again, it was probably a combination of the institutions starting to sell and then the emotions of the public jumping in and quickly driving it down. Probably there's is going to be an area where we're going to see a demand zone where buying will start to take place again. Yep. Yep, yeah, that's right. And we've been talking about some of these stocks, the Apples, the AMDs, the Neo. Well, here is one that I'm sure everybody has heard about, mm -hmm. talked about. I mean, this has been a, a high flyer on the year, and that would be AMC. Right. You know, that that movie uh, movie theaters, right? Now, roughly around uh, $4.07 billion in net purchases. Year-to-date performance is up about 1,200, 1,300% roughly. Now, think about this for one second. So... A lot of people invested into AMC after they you know, the hype came in. This was a bit, this would have been back in uh, May and June, and off its highs now. Actually, it roughly is. about sixty percent down off its highs. Right, even so though it's up for the year, yeah, it's down that much from its high. And I think it's a lot of that is, is a lot of investors get into the market after that move happened and then i'm sure there's a lot of investors underwater right now. right well amc was part of the you know the gamestop amc thing that mm -hmm. the the reddit followers and robin hood traders drove up they 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 basically looked at stocks that were highly shorted and decided to take the other side of it drive the price of the stock up 
causing the short positions held by hedge funds yeah. to buy to cover their their losses, driving the price up even more. The problem is people got again emotionally involved. They saw this thing go up. You know, when you have something that's up over a thousand percent, and and you didn't get in, that's you're FOMO. thinking, well, maybe it'll go up another thousand percent. I'll yeah. get in. So a lot of people, somebody got in at the peak. A lot of people got in at the peak. And then it came, it went from like seventy seven dollars down to what is it now around twenty seven? It's at about twenty eight bucks a share, twenty eight fifty roughly right yeah. now. Yeah. If you go back, even around July, if you're pulling up a chart there, I think yep. you can find trouble started right around uh, July second, and uh, right. yep. and and that's when the the price of that stock it just cratered. And again, there's th- that chart tells a story. It, it tells us what's happening. Mm-hmm. And if you learn how to read those charts, which is what we do in our classes, that's the same thing as, say, a, a, a doctor reading a uh, an x-ray or an MRI. Yeah, They can do that because they've been trained. Yep. Same thing is true of our students. Yeah, it's crazy with AMC. I mean, that started out roughly around a dollar something per share, yep. $2 per share. Right. Crazy. Went up to about $72 per share, seventy two sixty dollars around there. And as Al was talking about, down to uh, about 28 29 bucks per share right now. So big volatility. And a lot of people, I mean, there was a lot of people talking about, you know, buying way out of the money options for super cheap and just mm-hmm. wasting a lot of capital. And all, it basically went sideways really since uh, July. I mean, yeah. it, it hasn't moved much. So a lot of people are kind of holding the bag, hoping things continue to go up. And as they're, they're seeing... We're seeing a downtrend uh, forming now as yeah, well. Yeah. And, and Al, you talk a lot about that learning how to read a price chart and not not just guessing or waiting for the news to come out and get into these investments. Getting into these, in the, into these investments, hopefully before these moves happen, that's the key of trading and investing. So you need a strategy that's designed to do that, to find how the institutions are you know, moving these markets, where they're buying, where they're selling. It's called our core strategy. So I want to give away some tickets to an investing class to learn more about core strategy, to learn more about timing the market, how to enter positions um, with low risk, high reward, high probability entry points. And that's typically at or near a turn in price. So just call 952 952- 814-4410 for two tickets for this investing class right here on Bloomington. We, we kind of get into, you know, all the assets, but really stocks, especially this uh, last year with great movements in the market. You can also text the word invest to the number 484848 for those two tickets. When you get set up for this class, you're going to get a registration page and a text right back. You're going to receive a financial quick start kit with a few different lessons on strategies to profit from down markets, you know, different secrets that Wall Street doesn't want to tell you, but also the different ways to calculate returns on an investment. So just text the word invest to the number 484848. Al, number five here. Before you mention number five, let me just say something. uh, We're we're still talking about AMC. You know, a lot of people uh, wrote it up. They were up over 1,000%. A lot of people then wrote it all the way down, yeah. and and that shows us that people don't know how to protect their assets. You yep. could have had protection. Maybe you had a small loss, but you know what? A small loss is okay, but you know what's not okay? A big loss. A big loss. A yep. small loss can never become a big loss. So the number one thing that we teach our students that everybody should learn before you even think about being in the market is how to protect what you have. It's risk management. Yeah, yeah. Number six, or sorry, number five here is PLTR. It's a it's a data mining company with defense contracts, and that's the number five. Uh, you know, held by retail investors. Net purchases right around three point six billion. Year to date performance down about nineteen percent. Mm-hmm. And it's it's just another one here. Just it, great moves from. Uh, November of 2020 all the way up to, oh, it looks like January of 21. So it went from heck, down from uh, $9 per share all the way up to $45 per share and then dropped. And yep. now it's been sideways. Yep. And now it's trading around, around $18 a share. Yep. So even though, you know, we show that it was down, what did you say? It was down about, down uh, about uh, 19%, 19% uh, year to date. But from its peak at 45 down to 18 that's that's more than a, that's about a, more than a fifty percent. It's drop actually sixty percent from the from the actual high right. down about sixty percent, just like AMC. Right. So you could have protected yourself. What if you could have made money on that drop when oh, it was going down? What does that mean? What's, well, how, what's that called? Well, you can you can either short a a position 
uh, if it's if it's available for shorting through your broker, you can have a an option on it that will go up as it goes down in value. You can maybe look at the the area of the market, the index, or the sector that it's in. You can do probably what we call an inverse ETF on that sector. That's an exchange traded fund that goes the opposite direction of the underlying. So there are a number of ways that you could have. You wrote it, uh, had a benefit or profit on the way down, but at the very least, you could have been protected with a pretty nice, uh, pretty nice return. Yeah. So basically, roughly, it went up about three hundred thirty-three percent, three hundred thirty-seven percent, roughly. From uh, looks like for our YouTube watchers, October, uh, October, early November to about January of twenty twenty-one, and then it dropped sixty percent. So a lot of people got in after things got you know real popular. Right. It gets on the news. And as Al was talking about, there's potential downward strategies. It's called shorting. So basically, for just as an example, if an investor gets into a position, let's just say at forty dollars, and price goes down to thirty, it's ten dollar difference there. And if they open their position high and close it low, that's actually a profit that investors can realize right. there. So it's just having two different strategies in your tool belt. So Al, that number six uh, stock. Held by retail investors is that good one that I think a lot of people love, and that's Verizon. Verizon Wireless. Mm -hmm. And net purchases roughly around $3.07 billion year to date. Another one down 9.5%. Al, this is kind of kind of a trend here. I think you said earlier, what, four out of ten? Four out of the ten were down for the year. Down and, year and these to are date. The, the most highly held stocks by the public it's crazy i mean this one's down like i said about 9.5 percent on the year everybody knows what verizon is a phone uh, company and uh it it's really if you really look at a price chart for our youtube listeners or watchers it's really been sideways from uh gosh it looks like really from 2019 yeah if you go back to december of two, of 19 and december of, of 2020 in both areas you're going to find supply zones areas where our strategy would have told mm -hmm. our students there's a good opportunity to short the stock at that point in time, or at least get out and and uh, protect your profits. Mm -hmm. You know, it's the telecom stocks have been down. Uh, this is the largest mobile carrier, and and they did have better than expected earnings for the third quarter. So you know, maybe there's some opportunities, uh, but yeah. you don't have to just hold something and let profits be taken away from you, or let opportunities in a different direction be taken away from you. Yeah, I mean just looking at the overall market from April till now, the you know, S&P 500, the Nasdaq, these all been have really been soaring and since April this stock is actually down 12%. So people mm -hmm. that are just holding these stocks, they they here's actually f facts and proof that they all don't go up and as you kicked the show off too is the uh, a small basket of stocks has really been catapulting these markets right, right. which is kind of uh it's it's almost like advanced decliners where there's different uh, stocks that are going up different ones are going down if the majority of them are going down and you see the markets actually going up it's a divergence yeah. and there there it actually brings more pressure on the market and there's just th diff different things that you know that we teach at online trading academy to hopefully add odds into your trading and investment strategy where people get started to learn more about these different stocks, you know, different ways to invest in the markets, whether it's for short-term income potential or maybe it's just long-term wealth building or that, you know, that that goal. We have investing classes to get started. And these are classes where we've taught thousands. Just like you are many strategies on stocks, options, futures, forex, cryptocurrencies, and it's all about making smarter investing decisions. So I want to give away 20 tickets for callers 1 through 10. When you call in right now, you're going to receive two tickets plus a financial quick start kit, which will help you get started right away. You can call 952-814-4410. That's 952-814-4410. Or you can just text the word INVEST to the number 484848. When you do that, we'll send you a text right back. There'll actually be a little preview link with uh, what to expect in this upcoming workshop. They're about two hours, but also the a link for our registration page. This will get you set up for the date that makes sense for you. We have these during the week. We also have these on the weekend. So just text the word INVEST to the number 484848. And we have a couple more high flyers on the year. Tech companies, another phone company, um, and something I think uh, 
It's very similar to one of our largest companies in here in the United States. We'll be right back. <clears throat> that bell kills me. <laughs> 